Hi guys, it's me, of course. Um, I haven't vlogged in a while, mainly because I've been busy, I'm really lazy, and I don't feel like making them. Which is kind of bad, but I came back today just because. Um, I'm kind of annoyed right now because this is the third time I've had to record this because people keep walking in on me. Um, I get very uncomfortable because people at my house say the randomness of shit, so, sorry. Um... Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make my, like these little crochet bracelets, like how I always wear. And I make them, and it's pretty easy. Um, quick, I will say that. Um, so let me tell you the things you're going to need. You are first going to need some kind of like string. Like, uh, it doesn't matter, it can be yarn, just a regular piece of string, I don't care, it doesn't matter. Uh, and you're going to need a pair of scissors to measure and cut the string. Well, not to measure, but mainly to cut the string. Um, a few recommendations. I use embroidering floss, which is this really thin type of string. Uh, I think it's really, like, a lot of the clothes are very bright, and they're just really pretty. And the size is just perfect. It's, like, thin, it's easy to use, and, yeah. And... Another recommendation, if you are going to make these, I'd recommend either using using between one and five pieces at a time with this because um, if you use too many, it gets difficult to crochet it and um, to tie it around your wrist. So, yeah. So the first thing you do is, depending on how big your wrist is, like I have pretty small wrists, um, you're going to measure and cut the desired amount and color of string you want. Um, this is about maybe a foot and it's like it I couldn't tie it around my wrist and like I said my wrists are really small. Like like hello, I can wrap my fingers around my wrist. It's yeah. <laughs> um so yeah. Cut it as long as you want, but don't make it too short or else it's not gonna fit. And okay, so here we go. So you're going to take, I have four pieces here. I have black, purple, blue, and white because they look awesome together. So you're going to first take one end and you're going to hold it with, uh, oh my god, my eye. You're, not with your eye. You're going to hold it with your thumb and your first two fingers. And so what you're going to do to start off is you're either going to um, tie it in a knot around your first two or three fingers. My pinky wants to get in there. Um, I always do it around two because it's easier for me. And so you're just going to wrap it around, pull the other end through, and then pull it like that. So you'll have one short end, a loop, and then the rest of the string, like all connected together. See? One big thing. Doo -doo -doo. So, okay. You're going to take one end of the loop and pull it to about as big, like... I would say that big, which is like you can fit your first finger and your thumb in, and you can easily grab the end of the string with it. So here's how you start. You will basically just, okay, so you're going to reach through the hole, and you're going to pull, you're going to grab the extra strings that are on this end, the long end, and you're just going to pull it through, and it's going to make like this little, another knot, basically. So. Basically, this whole thing is like tying knots repeatedly. And you're just going to keep doing the same process of going in the hole, pulling it out. And you always want to make sure that the whole state, you always make the hole go back to being like the same size. Because if you keep it too big, um, the knots that you make in the bracelet will be loose and it won't stay together as well. So you're just going to keep going like that and go at your own speed. Like, I go pretty quickly because I've made these for about uh, two years, so I, I've got like the hang of it. So you're just going to basically keep going and going, and I'm going to try and do this as fast as possible to show you how to end it. Oh, see, I already tied this one, and I already had my stuff pre-made, but like I said, it didn't fit my wrist, so... I was like, why the hell not? I'm not going to wear it. Might as well just remake it. Oh, see? Okay. And then if one of you... Okay, so this always happens. Like, 
uh, well, not always, but sometimes, if one of the strings, if you use multiple, if one of them gets too big, like bigger than the other ones, just pull the ex the loose end down here and just make it the same as the others. Quick fix. Um, oh, 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 wait. Alright, I think we're near the end of this. Okay, so when you're on your last loop, and, god damn screen, uh, and when you're ready to, like, stop making it, and it's like, oh, it's a perfect length, I love it, um, what you're gonna do is, oh my god, seriously, bro, I'm trying to finish this tutorial, and you have to be a dick, so I talk to inanimate objects when I'm angry, um, so you're gonna have your loop again, like normal, but instead of, like, making, like, pulling it through and making sure that the rest of the string stays down, you're just gonna take all of it, pull it all the way through so it looks like that, and then you're just gonna pull it like that, and then there you go. And then it makes this really pretty braid pattern, which is like why I make it. And um, then, yeah, you maybe I can tie it on my wrist, probably not because I am just ridiculous. <gasps> No, it's not going to fit. We can always try. Well, yeah, either have someone tie it for you or tie it yourself onto your wrist. Or if you're giving it to someone, then don't tie it until you give it to them. So then you can tie it on their wrist. And, yeah, like I said, um, you can use any color, any kind of fabric, e-string. Um, like I, also, like I said, I would recommend uh, embroidering floss because it's so much easier. Like, I used to do it only with yarn. Oh, I tied it on my wrist! It's so pretty! Sorry, I really like bracelets. Another one to the collection. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? Motherfucker. Anyway, um, yeah. So that's how you make them. If you have any questions, you can uh, leave a comment below. Or you could send me a message on here. Or tweet me on Twitter. It's at... I don't know, Steph, Nay, Amanda, and that's like, I'll put a link in the description, no, no worries, um, this is a bit longer than I thought it would take, but, um, once you get the hang of it, it'll be very quick and easy to make, and hopefully I'll see you guys soon, uh, with more videos, I say that all the time, but look how many videos I make per month, it sucks. And FYI, yeah, I did dye my hair. The lighting is not just weird. I, d I dyed my hair. Yo. It's like honey brown now. Gold and honey brown. Anyway, yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm updating my Twitter feed while I'm doing this. Okay, see you guys soon, and enjoy making your bracelets. Spread the word around and make this thing trend. Alright, bye!